So I did a post real quick on Tony Boschel's wall. And within a few hours, I had a number of people ask about some of these um, strike indicators that I made primarily for use with the USA ice team. And I'm just going to show you real quick uh, what they're meant for, uh, why I made them, and maybe how you could take these and adapt them to fit your everyday rod. Here's a shot of all the different strike indicator configurations, different lengths, different widths. The blue is five thousandths, the green is three thousandths thick. So when you pick these up, this is my heaviest setup. This is one pound test with the widest strike indicator I've made. Three, three, uh, three millimeters at the tip, four millimeters at the, uh, at the, at the uh, back end. Got my heaviest jig on there. Yeah, uh, size uh, two and a half Fisca. That's the motion I get when I uh, see if the fish were to come up with the bait. You can watch that thing just straighten completely out. So that's kind of neat. Um, this one is my thinnest five thousandths size two fisca or size two and a half fisca again quite bent over it's two uh, just shy of two and a half millimeters at the tip three and a quarter millimeters at the back end by the grommet This one's kind of mid-range. I don't have line on this yet. This is three and a half, uh, or three and three quarter millimeters in the back end, two and a half on the front. It's the same as this one, but this one is six centimeters long, whereas this blue one and this one here are both seven centimeters long. And this, uh, this one pound fluoro, this is uh, three millimeters and four millimeters. So I can do different thicknesses, different lengths, different widths to accommodate the different size jigs, different size line. I can match everything up on all these palm rods. And if you got a little rubber grommet, that's, that's really what I wanted to show you. This doesn't focus real well, but if you have the little rubber grommet, this fits right inside there. It slides in. It's not super easy to do, but it is achievable. They stick in there nice and tight. They are adjustable yet. You can pull them back and forth. And, uh, and it works. I know they sell these strike indicators with other grommets. I think they sell strike indicators that look like this. If I could have some of them. Yeah, these strike indicators. So I set this up here. Pull this out. These are the strike indicators that it comes with. These are too heavy for uh, for what we're fishing for over in Europe. So I'm actually cutting them off. cutting them off. I've got some save that I was able to pull off without cutting, but most of them I'm cutting. And um, and then putting the new strike indicators through the rubber grommet that, uh, that comes on the rod.